Another month means another top 5 mods for Skyrim on PS4 video. In this one we've got a couple of graphics mods, a new mercenary faction, a massive armour mod and a weapon mod. And of course they are all very impressive. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss next month's video and consider turning on notifications. Also I'm going to be posting some exclusive video content on Amino so if you want to see those videos give Amino a download and follow my global profile which you can find by searching Nayflar under users. First up is Anna's Photogenic Skyrim by Yuki233515. The best way to describe this mod would be to call it Instagram filters for Skyrim. Basically, if you're one of those people that spends more time in Skyrim trying to get the perfect screenshot than actually playing the game and can't move more than 10 feet without finding another pretty thing that just forces you to press the share button, then this mod is for you. Anna's Photogenic Skyrim adds a bunch of rings which can be found in a chest on Freylia Greymane's stall in Whiterun. There are three types of rings. Firstly, you have six different rings that change Skyrim's exterior graphics. These six rings are Black and White, Dark Fantasy, Fairy Tale, Sweet, Vivid and Witchlight. You also get 10 interior lighting rings, which are black and white, dark, dark fantasy, delicious, focus. Romantic, Scoop, Sharp, Soft, and Witch Light. And finally, you also get five particle effect rings, which are Black Reach Snow, Bubbles. Flowers, Glitter, and Orb. All of these rings will dramatically affect the colours and lighting in your Skyrim, but just be warned they are all very over the top, and I would only really recommend using them for taking screenshots rather than using them all the time. The interior lighting rings can't be mixed with each other and the same goes for the exterior lighting rings, however you can mix the particle effect rings with everything, including other particle effect rings, which can really clutter up your screen if you get a bit carried away. This is a very aesthetically pleasing mod that all Skyrim screenshotters will absolutely love, making it easy to make awesome and unique screenshots. Give it a download and show off your photography skills to your social media friends. At number 4 we have The Ironclad Company by Scarecrow. If you've seen my top 10 follower mods video, you will be very familiar with Scarecrow, who creates some really fantastic in-depth faction mods that include multiple interesting and unique followers, as well as lore, backstory and new locations, weapons and armour. This time around, Scarecrow has created a new mercenary faction called the Ironclad Company, which is a band of cell swords who train dogs to fight at their side. The mod's description says, at the Ironclad Mercenary Camp, players will be able to contract bodyguards for short-term assistance in their questing or hire the entire company in order to unlock new followers, merchants and abilities. Woven through all of this is a tale of betrayal and redemption for the mercenary company itself. The mod includes one new exterior location, the Ironclad Mercenary Camp, and one new interior location, the Ironclad Command Tent, the camp can be found south of Half Moon Mill and the command tent is located at the centre of the camp. You will need to sign a mercenary contract at the contract book in the camp in order to gain access to the command tent. You also get 6 new followers, all located inside the mercenary camp or in the command tent. These followers are veterans of many battles and hardships and each of them are worthy companions for the Dragonborn. 
You'll also find two new merchants, Andre Firekeeper and Matthias Chamond. Matthias Chamond is also a low level speech trainer. There is also a new class of weapon called Giant Breakers. These enormous blades combine the effect of greatswords and warhammers and will knock foes off their feet if you execute a power attack while your stamina is high. They are upgradable and they can be crafted after the player unlocks the giant forging technique. They are sold by Andre Firekeeper in the Ironclad Mercenary Camp after you sign a contract. There is also a new type of shield, the Round Shield, which is an unadorned light armor version of the existing Guard Shield. You also get craftable bodyguard contracts that serve as scrolls, which allow the Dragonborn to summon a mercenary bodyguard for a day. There are also 8 new techniques for you to learn from the various personalities in the Ironclad Mercenary Camp. These are crafted at the training dummy in the camp and require you to have signed a mercenary contract before you can learn them and all of them have different skill slash attribute requirements before they can become available. There are also around a dozen new lore books and notes and 6 new lore based loading screens. And there is even more. There are some NPCs, equipment and lore items scattered about in this mod for the player to discover during their playthrough. Scarecrow has made another fantastic faction mod here. If you like the idea of adding a faction of mercenaries to your Skyrim that you can recruit then go ahead and download this mod. Next up and taking the bronze medal we have another graphics overhaul by Imperial Agent 1992 who has really been cranking out mod after mod. In May we had the lively graphics overhaul which was designed to make Skyrim brighter and more colourful and in June Imperial Agent created this mod, Epic Crispy Graphics, which sharpens the exterior graphics, makes shadows darker for more realism and the nighttime is brighter than usual. As I always do for graphical overhaul mods, here are some screenshots comparing the mod to the vanilla game so you can decide if you want to use this mod or not. The penultimate mod on this top 5 list and taking the silver medal is Armour of Skyrim by Flynn Skordor which basically adds an insane amount of unobtainable and unused armour to your game, some of which can be crafted, some can only be found in red knapsacks and some have to be bought from a new NPC just inside the ragged flagon. This mod adds the following armour which can be crafted at a forge. Mannequin set, craftable in the wood category. Polar and Cave Bear Hats, craftable in the Hide category. Sleeved version of Guards Armors, also craftable in the Hide category. Head bandages, arm bandages, prisoner cuffs, gag and blindfold, all craftable in the Leather category. Five Bone Mold Curious variants, craftable in the Bone Mold category. A gender opposite version of the Ancient Nord Helmet, craftable with the other Ancient Nord Armor under Daedric. 11 Necromancer Skeleton Armor Pieces, also craftable in the Daedric category, and 52 Dragon Priest Mask variants with different hood textures. However, the main game masks are only craftable at the Skyforge if you have Konarik in your inventory, which you can only get once you have all of the masks, and the DLC masks are only craftable with the corresponding mask in your inventory. The armors you can find in knapsacks are an alternate version of Saviour's Hide, found by a tent where the quest is, an alternate version of the Ancient Farmer Curious, found near the entrance to the Chantry of Oriel, Tassoon Set, found near the throne in Sovngarde, Greybeard Set, found near the entrance inside High Hrothgar, Shiagorath Set, found at the end of the Blue Palace Wing, Executioner's Set, found in the Stolen Goods Room in Castle Dower Dungeon, 
Reaper set found in the Reaper's lair in the Soul Cairn, and seven versions of Heartstone armor. General Falks Karras' Heartstone armor is found in his room, General Tullius's is found in the Castle Dower Armory, and Penitus Oculatus is found in their base. Finally, the following is purchasable from the Thief at the Ragged Flagon entrance. Short sleeved version of Dark Brotherhood Curious, 20 Dawnguard Curious variants, 83 Thieves Guild armor variants, a Yarl hat, alternate Executioner hood, Thalma hood, Mythic Dawn hood, Archmage hood, Serana's hood, 3 Dunmer hoods, 7 Warlock hoods, Mage college sets, Dramora robes, sleeved and unsleeved variants of Yarl and Emperor clothes, Moth Priest set, Nocturnal set, Sigic set, Hooded robes, Coloured robes, Sun Dunmer clothes, an Elder Council amulet, the Ring of Khajiit, and 11 Vampire rings and amulets. This mod adds a lot of new armour in an immersive way, so if you're looking for some more armour variety in your Skyrim, give this mod a download. And finally, the best mod that released for Skyrim on the PS4 in June and taking the gold medal is Epic Realistic Enchantment Effects, another mod by Imperial Agent 1992. Last month we had an awesome fire sword mod that added a really intense fire effect to a steel sword, which is something I've wanted in Skyrim ever since I saw the flame swords in Dragon Age Inquisition. Imperial Agent has gone a few steps forward by adding a bunch of new realistic enchantment effects that greatly enhance the look of enchanted weapons by making them actually look like they have enchantments on them with much more noticeable effects compared to the very plain and hardly noticeable vanilla enchantment effects. I might be a little biased putting this mod at number one because this is something I've wanted in Skyrim for such a long time after being so disappointed with the boring vanilla enchantment effects. There is a chest full of weapons with these new effects near the mill in Riverwood which includes a battle axe of dispelling, a battle axe of devouring, a battle axe of storms, a battle axe of winter, a battle axe of the inferno, a battle axe of terror, a bow of annihilating, a bow of inferno, a dagger of petrifying, a great sword of devouring, a great sword of the inferno, a mace of winter, and a sword of winter. The enchantment effects are not just on these weapons. Any enchanted weapon you pick up or buy from a merchant will have these new enchantment effects, which is awesome. So if you don't want to cheat, just ignore the chest. For example, I bought an Iron Battle Axe with a Shock Damage enchant from Adriana in White's Run, and it had the new enchantment effect added by this mod. For me, this is a must-have mod, and it will permanently feature in my load order. That will take us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my videos, I really would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. Just search Nayflar to find me or use the links in the description if you want to follow me. And if you want to see some exclusive videos, make sure to check out my Amino profile. Again, you can just search Nayflar or use the link in the description. Thank you to Fluky Robin for being the first channel member. Thank you so much for your support. It really does mean a lot. If you want to support me and help me make more and better videos, please consider joining the guild and becoming a channel member. Just press the join button and I'll give you a shout out at the end of all my videos to thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next one. May Talos guide you.